Yo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're doing the worst version of Sunny Park Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cringe, though. That's all we're doing. That's it. Technically speaking, if you watch the video on Main Street Coliseum, we're doing the same thing, but again. Guys, I'm gonna say it. I already miss Neon Coliseum. <laughs> I already miss it, and it's only been like three minutes, alright? Listen. It was a good time, okay? It was something huge and awesome, and it's already gone, dude. Like, I'm just gonna ask some freaking H so hard at the thought of that thing not coming back. But, um, it's Del Caddy, huh? That thing's in BDSP, huh? Right. You know, they could have done without bringing Del Caddy back. That would have been cooler, honestly. All right, Delcaddy, take a beating, please. That is cringe. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And it's dead. Cool. I am, for some reason, browsing Twitter right now. But hey, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a bunch of cringe about Melee. Listen, dude. I'm gonna say, guys. Super Smash Bros. Melee is, uh... It's a good spectator game. It's definitely not the most fun thing with, um, playing. At least for me, anyways. What? Like, I'm really just spectating an out-of-context task, and like, what was that? Alright. None of what I just watched made sense, but that's awesome. Yep, Delcaddy is dead. Good stuff. I don't even understand, man. Guys, listen, dude. All I'm gonna say is game speedruns are sick. Like, watching speedruns is easily some of the most entertaining content you can see. If, like, you know, that is if you understand it. Dude, okay, I'll never understand the mentality some people have with speedruns, right? Where they're like, oh, you didn't play the game correctly, dude. You beat the game in five minutes, you went from the start of the game straight to the end, that's not right. I was just like, dude, play it how you want to. But other than that, right, it's just like, that's how you beat a game, you go to the credits. <laughs> so when I see BDSP, and how it's like a 20 minute speed run or less, right, and they go straight to the credits, then it's just like, yeah, they're beating the game. <laughs> Listen, dude, it's not my fault the Starly at the beginning of the game is the final boss. That's just how it is. And I guess it was, like, significantly worse for games like Ocarina of Time. Where, the like, the casual fan base is just so passionate about the game. Where they will demonize pretty much anyone who speedruns the game with glitches. Like, I don't fucking get it. And, like, I say that, right? I'm looking at a very few specific minority a group of Twitter users, right? I don't know if it's like the minority of Twitter or Reddit. Maybe it's both. But like, hot damn, dude. If it's so impressive, right? If you have an issue with it, hear me out, right? If you don't like the speedrun you're watching, go play the game yourself. Go watch somebody else stream the game. You can watch casual gaming, man. It's there. It exists. I don't get it. Weird for me to get super political about speedruns for a minute, but my apologies, guys. No, Intimidate! Fuck! I'm in shambles right now. Why am I gonna click that move? This is the one I want. And now I'm gonna funny move the Wiggly Tough. Alright, let's go. Stratter definitely lives a rock slide, but... Stravia should live it. Oh, this lead is so cringe, man. I just wanna do damage. I can't even hit them for any damage. Never mind, I crit the Staravia. <laughs> Yo, I'm so glad I can do so much damage this turn. <laughs> and I got the flinch. That is disgusting. Yo, do it again. <laughs> do it again, boys. That's actually one thing I do appreciate about this like game speedrun, right? It's like, for example, this one... It doesn't seem to do anything completely broken, right? 
I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really watched anything, but like, I don't see how you can go about breaking the game's progression at all in this game. So, um, let's just, just take my word for it, from, uh, just guessing. I don't know, it's just easier to follow along with speedruns that aren't glitched, but like... Dude, if you're getting upset over what somebody's doing on the internet... That's an SMH moment, that's all I'm saying, dude. Like, you are getting me to shake my head at a alarming pace. But it honestly kinda hurts. Good. You did it yourself, man. Also, for this little session of time, right? I wanna stay until like January. I wanna have a little bit of a storage issue on my computer, which is kind of concerning. Oh, Scizor, you are so cracked. <laughs> that minus one earthquake did nothing. And this is why I wish I had soft sand. Or an earth plate. Either one would work. I'm not gonna lie, dude. If I had either item on my Garchomp right now, that'd be awesome. Yo, let's schmoof. Actually. <laughs> this game is insulting me right now, dude. Listen, man. So you guys may not know this, right? And I may not. You definitely don't. But on Twitch, I've been shiny hunting Unknown recently for like the last two streams. And just seeing Unknown right now is just an insult. It hurts, alright? It hurts me just a little to see it here. Right, I want my blue Unknown. I want BDSP to stop screaming me over and give me the funny critter, alright? Alright, where's the Earth plate at? Yo, and there it is. Also, guys, I haven't really talked about it much, but, um... Yo, how about I talk about main channel YouTube content real quick, dude? <laughs> Stop. Okay, but, like, really, though... What's pretty impressive is... Like, my BDSP video took off... And basically all the other videos in the same style as it... Just, like, multiplied in their view counts, man. That's crazy. Whether it's, like, two or three times more, like, it's awesome. Oh god, that's gonna do some damage. You know what's funny? How Ludian's defense stat is absolutely horrendous and that still did nothing. That's like the coolest thing you're ever gonna see. Oh, Ludian, you're so awesome, dude. Listen, guys, I'm gonna say it. Ludian's the coolest Pokemon of all time. It's just super funny, alright? Oh, I'm bug browsing that Bronzor, man. You ain't stomping me now. After I used Brave Bird in the wrong slot last turn. I definitely meant to hit this thing right here. But we're gonna pretend I wasn't just mashing the A button, alright? Sick! Guys, it's coming soon, man. Like, I'm conflicted right now. I don't know if I want to start Shadow the Hedgehog on the channel. Because, right... If I do that, I need to, like, stream the other routes at some point on my Twitch. Like, the one I don't do here. That's gonna hurt. That tackled it so much. Yeah, I love how terrible Ledian's physical defense is. But it's just taking note of- Oh my god, Ledian's gonna body this thing. It's time! And it's just gonna have hidden power fighting. Oh, not fighting, rock. Yeah, that one. I already forgot what I was talking about, but like I wanted to finish that train of thought. That's tragic. Yo, life do be like that. Yo, congratulations on forgetting. Oh yeah, something about Shadow. Like I want to, like I don't think the main playthrough would take that long for the channel, but like... I will be dropping everything to do my infinite run on here. When Halo Infinite drops and like... I say when it drops, right? The game's already out. I'm getting it in 10 days. Oh my god, only 10 days. You know, I've only waited 6 years for the game to come out, but like... Dude, 10 days? Gross. Disgusting, if you will. And that... We will be playing through that game on here, guys. Don't worry. I think I'll do a main channel video on the game, too. You know, diversify the content a little. Yep, um... That's the team I go with. Guys, you know what's going to be awesome about that Ledian clip right there of it killing the unknown? That's going to be in the YouTube channel for the main channel video, boys. That, that's, it. that's all I'm saying. 
for this game. That's going to be in the main channel video somewhere. That's all I'm saying, guys. Letting in popped off. Like, it hard carried. That is crazy. So I just now realize I'm like halfway through this game already. I've only got four Coliseums after this, huh? Oops. <laughs> yeah, soon, guys. Soon, all right? In a small amount of time. We will be changing the trainer's dialogue soon. For Stab, that was pathetic. That was the most pitiful damage output I've ever seen. Now, Garchomp, if you killed this Love Disc from full HP, on the other hand... That's awesome, dude. That's the coolest thing. Listen, man. The way this game just handles um, multiple mons getting hit at once is so nice. Because, like, on the DS and 3DS, like, it, it worked well. What was it good on the 3DS? I don't even remember. I think just, like, up through black and white. Like how everything takes damage at once. And it's fast. Yeah, that kind of fun shenanigans. But you know what doesn't? I don't know. I already forgot where I was going with that. Um, Like, sort of, like, ah, dude, I don't know. It's just something about the speed of all that. It's just so nice, the animations, man. But you know what is tragic about this game? You can't turn off the animations, right? Obviously, if you're playing this game, you want to see the animations on, but, like, give us the option, man. At this point, I might start just going on Reddit and complaining about the EXP share not having a toggle on BDSP. Absolutely disgusting behavior. I am turning into a disgusting individual, boys. Don't worry. Coming soon to a subreddit near you. The Reddit recap, man. I got, like, one top comment, and it's just like, oh, that's so cool, dude. The comment wasn't that great, but it was just a fun continuation off of another chain. So, I could probably edit that in for y'all, the, uh, the comment, right? The, uh, just the Reddit thing as general, right? If I can, like, figure out what the fuck I'm using. But, so, the first comment was, like, a meme, right? It was on r backslash stunfisk, which is basically the competitive Pokemon, uh, subreddit. Basically. And, um, this guy gives the meme day, right? This guy was joking around. They were talking about buffing Wigglytuff and, um, basically just copy-pasting everything to be Clefable 2, right? And I'm just like, yo, let's work on even more to this. And I'm like, yo, dude, just give it Yveltal stats, give it a move like Quiver Dance for setup, you know, give them fun stats, right? And it's just like, yeah, man, I want Xerneas 2 as well. Oh, both these guys just died a Rock Slide, huh? I'm just gonna use Protect here, dude. I don't even know. <laughs> I should have probably bullet punched Butterfree, honestly. It'll be fine. Smack him, boys. Let's go. Easy. Look at Garchomp going off. But, like, listen, man. You only go off on Reddit like that's just dumb. I really hate memes like that, dude. It's just. Ew. Listen, man. So, like, when people ask me what my top comment was on Reddit. My highlight of 2021 for Reddit. That is that, that like that discussion right there that you just saw on your screen. Okay. Listen, personally, I just think it's funny. I'm gonna bullet punch the wiggly tough. I was actually gonna hit Graveler because it's bulkier, but like you know, super effective earthquake. So I decided that's dumb. And there's one thing I found annoying when playing through this game with a rental pass. It's that Wigglytuff is just obnoxious, right? Like, unless you have a choke from the one pass, which you probably don't. It's like, it just sponges everything. Blow up. Do it. Blow it. Explode. Right now. Do it. Coward. That is some weak shit right there, man. You are the biggest wimp on the internet. Good job, female Graveler. You have made yourself out to be the biggest absolute clown. You have played yourself. And now I'll clear my perfect point real quick. Good stuff. See, look. I was right to assume I needed to hit Graveler last time, okay? I was right in the assumption that I should probably hit it. Because it would survive Earthquake. And I was right. I was sadly right. 
Guys, I am waiting for the terrible editing mistake of just letting all this commentary get through the video somehow. And that's gonna be awful when I do, like, the fucking big critique on this game. Which is gonna be basically me sucking off the game because it's pretty damn good and people need to quit complaining. But that's besides the point, alright? <laughs> Yo, based man, tell him, tell him off, dude. <laughs> Yo, tell him off. Alright. Yo, but guys, soon, soon, soon I will give Imposter actual dialogue, okay? Hopefully before the next video, probably not. I don't think it will happen. Honestly, take a shot every time I suggest that if you watch the entire series back to back, alright? The Yo, there's you a fun drinking challenge right there. And from the red corner, Celio, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's the only correct play here. Bye-bye, Celio. You tried. Dude, you're an ice type. How did you lose to a flying type, man? What the frick? Guys, y'all remember in, like, Gen 8 when close combat was given to everything? I mentioned this, like, on the Waterfall Coliseum video, I think. It might have been the other one, Main Street, but who cares? Besides the point, but, like... Dude, close combat's a move that does not need to be on as many Pokemon as possible. Like, what the frick, dude? Like, the fact Xerneas has that, sh like, in general, was always dumb. Back in Gen 6, but, like... What are you doing? Like, I don't even know, man. Yo. But, like, Arcanine gets close combat? Why? I want to use Incineroar for a reason. Regular Farfetch gets close combat. Tauros gets it, gets it, which is actually really fucking awesome for Tauros. Dude, I miss the good old days when Tauros was like the best mod in RBY. Yo, Mew and Sharpedo get it. I mean, Mew's obvious, but like, Sharpedo, really? Good god. Chill. X Cavalier is close combat now? Well, damn. Okay, I didn't know that one. I think I was aware of Haxorus, but like, it's besides the point, bro. Golurk even, jeez. Tyrantrum, disgusting. Mudsdale does, apparently. Obviously, you wouldn't run it on him because, um... Because what again? Because you want to actually mi uh, max out your defense as much as possible with it. I know Glissopods had it. Goliosopod, as some people say. Pheromosa was one that did not need it. It already had high jump kick. Why? Like, Bear Skewed is just super fucking based. What is this lead? <laughs> this is the biggest joke team I've ever seen in my life. Guys, I'm being gimmicked by the plus and minus ability. I am gonna lose. You aren't ready. So, first things first. Don't kill my partner with Earthquake. Or just don't attack with it in general, alright? Well, so apparently Gramble gets it, so that's cool, I guess. Hey, I got bad news for you, partner. You're losing both of your mods. Guys, Garchomp's so broken. You should ban it, man. And I'm having fun, dude. Listen, I didn't want to grind some other nonsense to fill this team slot, okay? I have a Steelix, because you know what that Steelix doesn't have? Earthquake. I wanted this on the team for Earthquake, dude. Oh my god, that's a low pony. Get that garbage off my screen. Get that piece of filth out of here. I'm slower, sec. Thank you, priority. Appreciate it. If only Gengar wasn't immune to that and could have been targeted. If only, dude. If only life were so simple for that scenario. I am getting gimmicked right now. Oh no. This thing doesn't get Earthquake, we're fine. Not Earthquake, Weather Ball. Wait, it definitely has Weather Ball, who am I kidding? It doesn't have Surf, you know, a better move. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell- Oh, I'm thinking of Hurricane, that's the move I was looking for, yeah. That move. Man, my brain just shut down for a second, dude. 
Like, fucking actually. Yeah, maybe I should have Shadow Ball the cast form, man. That would have been based. Oh no, I just won. That's crazy, man. Ahem, observe. You know what's not crazy, though? The Crazy Frog NFT. Get that shit out of here, dude. I am absolutely disgusted by NFTs and their takeover, man. <laughs> you know what I like about NFTs? How it's harmful for any company to acquire them as a part of their marketing. Because people dislike it more than people like it, which is absolutely fucking insane. Proud of the community, by the way. Yo, comment NFTs or lame in the comments down below, guys. I'll, I'll thumb up and I'll heart every comment that has it.